Bloomberg Congressional Reporter Billy House joins us now from Washington. Hey, Billy, uh, good morning. It's, it's really great to have you on the show today. We are so close to having a stimulus plan. If this indeed gets voted on today, when will Americans start to see the benefits? Well, it'll take uh, uh, beyond uh, Christmas and, and perhaps in early January to, to see the direct you know, payments that are going to go to some people. Uh, and still, the president will have to sign this bill, and they, they built into the bill seven days, uh, kind of a seven-day CR to allow things that do run out not to run out until he does sign it. But by early next year, uh, if not the late December, some of these uh, mechanisms will kick in. We, some breaking news here is Pelosi's just announced she's headed to the House floor right now to announce today's, uh, apparently to describe today's uh, plans for the votes, which have not yet been scheduled. Uh, text even hasn't been released yet of the agreement. So what does that mean for the timeline now that Pelosi is doing this? It looks like uh, the way things might roll out is that uh, the, the, the bill text, the actual language will be made public uh, early uh, around 10 o'clock Maine, and then perhaps House votes in late afternoon, Senate votes this evening. Perhaps this gets done by midnight tonight. Okay, and if it does get done by, by midnight tonight, what comes next? Well, then it uh, is sent over to the White House. Uh, and uh, you know, there, there are, of course, as there are with a lot of things uh, with this president, some, uh, some wondering what will happen. But it seems that he will, uh, while publicly complaining about aspects, will probably sign it. And... Uh, He's already taken credit for the direct payments part of it. Well, let's talk about those direct payments, $600 to individuals who are making $75,000 a year or less. Um, for couples, uh, it goes up to $150,000 per, per household. Um, what are the details that you can give us on these direct payments and how they may be different than the direct payments we saw earlier in the year? Well, we do know that it, it's going to go through the Eternal Revenue Service Office, which has already set up a system to distribute it. Uh, Democrats, uh, some Democrats are already complaining it's too low. Uh, 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 in fact, John Ossoff, the Senate, uh, the Democratic uh, opponent in the Georgia runoff to Senator David Perdue, has just tweeted that, really? $600? Yeah. But it is something, uh, and, uh, uh, and uh, I'm sure that it'll, it'll be received um, as something, at least. What about when it comes to aid to small businesses? We've reported a lot here on Quick Take about how small businesses around the country have struggled, and indeed these small business owners have had to tap into personal savings to continue to keep their businesses open around the country. What do we know about aid for, for small businesses? Well, uh, again, they will have to apply. Uh, it would be about $284 billion if, you, if we're talking about the Paycheck Protection Program, um, and that will include forgivable loans. Uh, but, but what's not going to be included and what some businesses wanted was the liability shield, uh, the insurance sort of thing. But uh, uh, the, the Paycheck Protection Program will be expansive. It'll, it'll include even um, areas of transportation, airlines, payrolls, that sort of thing. What was the last-minute drama that we saw play out over the weekend when it came to the power of, of the Federal Reserve and the, the, the concerns that, that lawmakers had around that? The, the notion that somehow the CARES Act set up a sort of uh, system that could forever let an administration manipulate uh, uh, the, the money in that for any use they wanted. Uh, the argument was whether that was supposed to be temporary or, or something permanent, and Republicans wanted to shut it down. Democrats responded that uh, Republicans were trying to hamstring a new president uh, uh, and so that went on. That was at the last second, as you said, and uh, was out of the blue for many, uh, many people covering the story, as well as some of the lawmakers themselves. Whether or not they've actually resolved it, I guess we'll see over the next three. Yeah, years. That, that's that was my next question, Billy, is, is how did they get past this issue yesterday? Well, they called it a compromise and, uh, uh, by saying with language that uh, Republicans uh, accepted as, hmm. as that, that, that no clone uh, system could be set up again, in other no similar system. But, uh, you know, the, the, the future will, will hold on whether that's true. Certainly will. Bloomberg's Billy House in Washington. Billy, I know you are swamped today, so thank you so much for your time. We'll check in with you a little bit later on the latest.
the biggest stories the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.